Uh oh. <laughs> uh, that'll be all right. We'll, we'll buff it out. I'd buy that for a dollar. Uh, I wonder if anything's gonna explode on me. Oh, I'm getting pulled in. Oh, <laughs> so let's go ahead and get back out there. We'll continue our salvage and try to get some more money and uh, upgrade our, our tools and stuff. Malfunct. You sneak onto the ship. You don't have to sneak on there necessarily. This is uh, this is your job is to salvage all the crap off the ship and, you know, try not to blow it up. Um, so let's see. Let's go in here. Uh, let's see. What can we get next? Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the... Let's clear out the other seat here. Yeah, it's funny because this game goes for kind of the space redneck um, feel. Like a lot of a lot of games kind of do that, which is kind of interesting, kind of funny. But yeah, everybody who uh, all the NPCs well, there's not really NPCs, but like your your shift leader and the guy that talks to you sounds like a redneck, and it's just kind of funny. All right, Let's strip all this stuff out. Yeah, blue collar. That's a good way to look at it. All right. I wonder if later, Gouda, you might know this, if you get a, uh, a way to kind of reel in stuff with your grapple. Like, I'd, I'd love to reel this in instead of it being so damn far away. But, you know, we'll get, we'll get by. No big deal. Oh yeah, so you guys notice, so because I cut some of the points, the ship is actually coming apart already. So the, the nose of it kind of broke off. Um, which is, you know, sometimes can, can be a little problematic if you're trying to cut or something and the ship's like kind of drifting away and you don't, you know, you have a lot more to disassemble and it's now harder to get to. But for us, I think this is not going to be a big problem. Actually gives me access to these joints here to cut so we can... Uh, take some more panels off the uh, next upgrade I wanted to work towards was getting our uh, saw blade our saw laser to be stronger so I can cut through uh, some heavier um, joints that some of these ships have and uh, take it apart faster okay so see that's still attached it's it's like when I use my grapple to pull it, it doesn't turn blue. So unfortunately I can't pull these away yet. Even though I cut the, uh, I cut the, um, oh yeah, so you guys see that orange, the orange structure is the next level of, uh, of structural, um, fasteners or whatever you want to call it that I can't get through. I don't have a strong enough saw. So that's what I need to upgrade next. That's kind of what I need to work towards. Oh, I forgot about reeling yourself in. Yeah, I need to try that. And yeah, the tethers. Uh, I didn't realize you had a limit on tethers when I first unlocked them. So I used them all like willy-nilly and then realized, yeah, you're limited. So that was fun. Okay, so... Um, yeah, can I pull anything off? Doesn't seem like it. One thing I don't like, Gouda, uh, with the controls is when you're um, using the grapple, if you try to stop yourself with control, it doesn't work. So maybe they'll change that. I don't know. So basically, like, the rule of thumb for this game is, like, if, if, it's, a, if it's a complex item, like a door handle or an airlock... Um, air controller or a battery or a reactor or anything like that. Like I'll, this is a good example. I pull this switch off. It, it needs to go to the barge, and then anything structural is usually to the uh, processor. So that's your walls of the ship, things like that. And then anything that's kind of, if anything gets destroyed or if it's just something that they don't want, you have to send it to the furnace. Yes, yeah, so I just fired that panel off, 
and I don't know where it went. I think it bounced off something down there, so I'm not going to get credit for that, which is a bummer, but I'm not going to go chase it either. Uh, okay, so let's need to go to the furnace. So let's go ahead and go over here, and I wonder if... Let's take a look. Yeah, see, I can't cut through that. Um, and the end. Let's see if we can get the engine out though without causing an explosion. <laughs> Whoops! I just. Uh, I guess G is tethers, and and also uh, right click is. So I just wasted a tether there. So that's kind of a bummer. But pull the pull the. Uh, Oh, this has to go to the processor. Interesting. I thought this was going to the barge. So there's our processor. There we go. All right. So slowly but surely, yeah, you just piece by piece break the ships apart. And uh, take it all down. It's pretty cool. Kind of a relaxing game, too. You kind of play at your own pace. You don't have to really go fast if you don't want to. Um, I've played, you know, like I said, I think this is about my fifth ship. So I've kind of gotten used to the controls. Actually, I see some more points I can cut there. Let's go ahead and deal with that. Um, sweet. Uh, sweet. All right. Stream is looking really good. Uh, by the way, I upgraded my internet and my router and everything. So I think we're like, we're good to go here. It's like primo stream conditions yeah so this health pack you can actually collect it but as you guys can see my health's at 100% so I don't really want to waste it oh Gouda use a controller that's interesting I couldn't imagine this game with a controller I, I think it would drive me crazy all right our floor, yeah, so our, um, let's see if we can get this roof panel off here. Oh, shit, all right, got to refill. I think I already bought an upgrade for my oxygen tank, too. So I get about, I think I get about, uh, seven minutes or something like that of oxygen which is uh, nice um, because I think the, the initial limit is five minutes or something like that which is kind of annoying so let's see can't take that off what about the roof up here yeah that, that's coming off all right so interesting this needs to go to the furnace I would have thought this would be a processor item so last time there's something attached. Nope. Oh, this light. Take that off. It's not going to be worth much, but whatever. Better to salvage it and not get docked points. Alright, cool. Got that dealt with. Um, let's go ahead and get the panel. I'm surprised. Maybe I cut it by mistake. Oh, you know what? Hang on a second. I think I know what's going on. I think I know. Oh, I thought I could pull off these little um, things on the side and maybe that needed to go to the furnace, but I guess the whole thing needs to go. All right. Material deposited. Okay, so that still needs to get... There's something still holding that together. Oh, yeah. There's a brace right there. Missed that one. Okay. Um, let's see. So our objectives are, uh, what do I have left to do? Oh, just more salvage more nanocarbon, so that's not too bad. So where's this item? Oh, this has to go to the processor. Yeah, so I, I don't know, with that other 
ceiling panel. I must have burned it or something by mistake. Oh, there's another light. All right, hold on a second. Hold on. What about this door? Okay, yeah, that's all just one piece now, so that's easy. Boom. All right. Yeah, good. I've never gotten a perfect salvage either. I don't really know. I, I I would think in order to do that, you gotta have everything kind of upgraded, you know. Oh, okay. So this, I can't remember now. If you take this, is there? I have to check if there's a fuel tank attached to this engine back here, because if I go ahead and pull it, it might explode, and uh, that would be bad for me. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to pull it out. Oh, shit. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Although, that angle it's going at, it might uh, bounce off that engine or whatever that is down there. Oh, shit. Okay. No, it went in. Sweet. Yeah, pulling out a giant turd. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, the sour is decent. Um, can definitely taste the grapes. No doubt about that. And it's pretty sweet. Um, it said it had a dry finish, but it's not all that dry. It's a little sweet, but uh, it's pretty decent. Okay, so we have three minutes left. What can I take apart here? How about we go in... Yeah, so there's still a bunch of um, structural things I need to cut here. Just want the light, actually. I'll take that uh, bracket as well, though, since that was coming off. Yeah, where's this going to the processor? Cool. Yeah, so if you guys haven't figured out by now, the processor items um, and the barge items will give you more money than the furnace. So if you end up burning something by mistake, you have to send it to the furnace. It actually costs you because uh, it's worth a lot less if it has to go in there. Cool. Um, what can I do in two minutes? Let's see. I don't need the health yet. Yeah. Can I take anything off of this? Like this door panel seems to want to come out, huh? Can't really get that off though. All right, um, let's focus on the things we can get, like down here. We have this fuel tank, which we're gonna have to try to cut around without setting it off. Yeah, so we got our got some pretty serious joints in here. Sweet. I get right up on them because I've had too many times where I thought I was good to cut and then I cut and then something explodes on me or I cut through the wall or ruin something, you know. So this is cool. Uh, I can go out right out the bottom here with this piece. And, uh... Oh, it's a whole wall. Oh, shit. I thought it was just the floor. Alright, I only have a minute. So I think this might be the last piece I can do. But it's a big one. So that's cool. Alright. There it goes. Sweet. Oh, I'm getting pulled in. Oh, shit. 
Is there not a not a boost I can do or something? Oh shit! I'm, pull, I'm getting pulled in. All right. So I got killed. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. It's a first. I haven't I haven't uh, gotten sucked in like that. So there you go. <laughs> Processed, yeah. That was awesome. Processed. Oh shit. Yeah. It's pretty funny, like the resurrection feat. Damn, 150 thousand shit. The ship is kind of falling apart on me. What can I get off of this thing now? I can get that fuel tank. So let me just do a tether actually on that guy. See if that'll do here. All right, there it goes. Um, what is this thing? Uh, it will not come off. So let's get that other fuel tank off here. All right. So this whole thing, will this whole thing go in the processor? Yeah, you know what? Let's send it that way with a tether. See if that'll get it in there. Yeah, I think that should work. Sweet. Um, what is next? Did I... Did part of the ship float away? Oh, there it is. Am I just crazy? A little bit of both. How about we... Um, what's in here? A light. Let's just take this little light off. Send that. And then I think this whole thing... Yeah, this will go in the processor too. Let's just send it. Looks like one tether is enough for that piece, too. So that's sweet. Um, okay, there's another little door piece for us. So that's easy. There's some more joints for us to cut. Okay, um, ooh, there's quite a few to cut here. All right. What about this whole piece here? Can this go? Processor? Looks like all of it, yeah. Alright, so that's cool. That should be a nice chunk of change. A big piece like that. Actually, I can do the same for this one, too. Yeah. Okay, so I'm out of tethers, which um, not a big deal. I can go buy more. But let's try to do some stuff uh, without needing the tethers, maybe. If we can find anything to... A little door piece. I can do that. Let me go do, do some work on this. The sour. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, good. I don't know if they charge you for using the door. That'd be kind of funny, huh? They seem to charge it for just about everything, so would not be surprising at all. Oh, there's no little terminal, a couple computer terminal things in there. Gotta get that. Yeah. Salvage 
Alright, making good. I think we're making good time with all this stuff. I still have 10 minutes to go. Still a lot to do, but slowly but surely breaking this shit down. Oh man. So it bounced off, which is what I was worried about. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I guess I lost that thing. Yeah, getting nickeled and dimed in space. Sure as shit, right. <laughs> Man, okay. So this thing is like, most of it needs to go in the processor, but I can't cut the structural beams that are holding it all together. Um, I may just send the whole unit into uh, the processor. And I can't remember, but I, I know they dock you for sending stuff into the processor that's supposed to go in the furnace, but I kind of don't care because I can't cut it anyway. Um, so I may just end up doing that, but let me see if there's anything else I can pull off to get the actual money for. Like that light right there. All right. Like, what is holding this panel? Oh, what the... Oh, well, I can cut that. So what is holding it, though? Is it just too heavy? Maybe I just need the tethers? Let's try that, actually. Let's go back. Get some tethers. I'll get, I ain't gonna have to get uh, oxygen anyway. So might as well get it now. Good, have you done a medium-sized ship? I assume you probably have. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. Okay. Oh, you're up to very hard. Okay, what level is that? Level 8? Okay. I'm level 5 right now. Oh, that's where it's attached. Okay. Yeah, I'd imagine. They said that uh, in the la latest update, they changed uh, the layout of a bunch of the ships. So that's kind of cool. Like, the bigger ships are more complex now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to send that whole piece into, uh, into the processor. I don't really care. I'm going to get docked a little bit, but whatever. I'm kind of ready to move on to another ship already. <laughs> That's funny. So I, at least I got... I got some of the value, but, you know, a couple of those things needed to go to the furnace, but I really don't care. Oh yeah, my work order is done, so that's kind of cool. I can just keep working on this ship if I want to get, like, more credits, but otherwise, I mean, I'm pretty much done. And what's left is, like, not really all that remarkable of uh, stuff, so I might just uh, move on after this one. Let's just see if I'm missing anything here. Doesn't really seem like it. I could just cut all this shit up. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth doing, you know? Gouda, what do you think? Yeah, the saw? <laughs> I try to use it sparingly because I, I did blow up a... Uh, I guess I'll take this health. I mean, why not? I wish, though, I could, like, save that for later. Maybe it does save. I don't really know, actually, to be honest. But, um... Yeah, Gouda, I was cutting, and I ended up cutting a fuel tank that exploded on me one time. So now I'm a little more careful. I'm a little more careful now about when I cut. Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and... Let's go ahead and send it into the... Into the processor here. It's just, I, it's just like, not worth 
nickel and diming it. I'll get I'll get dinged for a little bit, but um, I kind of don't care. <laughs> I'll do a bigger ship now, or like a medium ship, difficulty ship, so you guys can have a look at that. Um, yeah, so this, this is a kind of a relaxing game. It's pretty pretty cool. You kind of take your time and little by little break the ship apart. Let's see if I can get this piece into the processor. Uh, yeah, there we go. Pulling the whole thing, so I'll give it another tether because that's got to be pretty heavy. At this point, I don't really care if I'm going to get dinged since we're going to a new ship as it is anyway. Cheers, guys. All right. Well, I'm going to finish a little early. There's nothing left. I will get dinged for this, but we'll have to see. I think I'll get more value than uh, than demerits. I don't want to go too close. <laughs> Last time I got uh, sucked in, so that wasn't fun. Well, I could be wrong about the. I might have. I may have uh, gotten more dinged. I may have needed to send that to the furnace. Actually, I don't know. Maybe not. But screw it. Let's go. Let's go and get some upgrades. All right, so that seemed to be successful. Work order's done, so that's nice. Uh, I didn't get any of my Lynx bucks, though. I don't know why. Look at that cutter rental, 120 grand. 90 grand for the grapple. <laughs> And love that one percent, one percent interest rate. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so I can't, I can't afford to upgrade anything. Do I need to repair? Oh, yeah, the grapple probably needs to be repaired. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm glad I found a repair kit in that last ship. Um, I won't repair anything else quite yet. Uh, after the next run, though, I think we're gonna have to repair something. Uh, cheers, guys. Hope you're uh, having fun watching this so far. Thanks again to Gouda for sending me this game. You're the man, dude. I hope you enjoy uh, Blightbound. They got your back on that one. Uh, maybe we can play that soon. So let's go. We'll get a new ship now. Uh, let's see. So we're looking at medium and hard now. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Q and R cycles um, your tabs here for easy to medium. And then I hit E uh, trying to cycle, and I just hit E twice, and I ended up into the mission with the easiest ship possible. So obviously not trying to do that. And they may, they might want to think about making A and D cycle instead of Q and R, which doesn't make any damn sense. But okay, um, let's see here. All right. See, these ships look the same. Oh, no, I don't want to do it quite yet. Just want to look at the damn ship. The heavy cargo mackerel looks different. I might do that one. That's kind of... That's the current winner. Uh, I guess this is the highest I can go. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take a medium ship on. And let's do our... Let's do our um, mackerel here. Oh, you know what I need to check, actually? Let's go back. So for our certification, sometimes there's items it needs you to get. Like it might say you need to collect, like, I don't know. Well, here we go, a thruster class one. So I have to do a thruster class one ship, another one, to go up in rank. So maybe that's what I need to do. And then I need to com just complete some more work order objectives and then do more credits, obviously. But So thruster class one. So let's see what ships... Um, oh, no, thruster is a piece, I think, actually. Oh yeah, you can see, so the core systems to the right will show you items. Um, we we wanted to do this ship, and it does have a thruster class one, looks like, so this will work. So let's go ahead and take that ship. And at least get a little to our, um, 
a little towards our goal, and I, we can try to level up here. So first thing first, you got to scan the ship and just see what we're dealing with here. Looks like these outer panels can come off pretty easily. So we can do that right away. Actually, grab this, grab the antennas. Do that straight up. That's easy. Okay. Don't want to go too fast here. If I shoot the uh, piece off the barge, that wouldn't be any good. I'd buy that for a dollar. Okay, so how about this hatch here? Got to cut it off. Actually, if I do that, it might cause problems with the airlock. We'll find the airlock in just a minute. Um, let's go ahead and cut this piece off here. Oh, okay. There's our thruster, actually. So once we cut this, we can get to um, cutting off the thruster. And, and that'll be uh, one step closer to our objective here. Is that still attached? Yeah, it was. Interesting. How about this one? It looks like it is, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, cut this one. I guess I have to do it vertically, otherwise it'll be um, still attached. Alright. Sweet, so this piece can go. Oh, it's just like a panel. Alright. There we go. Oh <laughs> shit, I almost I almost uh shot that away a little too far there. That could have been a that could have been a disaster. There we go. Oh, this one came off too. I didn't even notice. Alright, that's going the right way. <laughs> Dr. Crisp, what's up, man? Cheers. Glad you could make it. Oh. I have some barrel aged beers coming up. You know me, man. Definitely. All right, where is this piece going? I assume to the furnace. Let's find out. Okay, how do we get our... Uh... Oh, my God, I didn't even see the work order. Wow. Okay, well... So, oh, okay. So there's an airlock attached. Hang on a second. How the hell... Okay. Let's go into the ship, actually. Um... Because I have a feeling if I start to try to open this, it's going to explode on me. <laughs> Don't want that. There we go. That's our airlock right there. Dr. Kress, what are you drinking, man? Airlock pressure levels dropping. All right. Ooh, see that's that's not that's a little nasty right there. Close the airlock. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Okay, what are we dealing with? Oh, this is new. This panel, Gouda, you seen this before? I can vent fuel from the thrusters. Huh. That sounds like an idea, a good idea, right? I should probably do that. Uh, I wonder if anything's going to explode on me. Actually, you know what I should look for first is... Uh, I should look for an oxygen tank uh, in here. Actually, I could... Gouda, do you know if, if I drain the oxygen, is that going to set off the fuel? Well, here's a key. I don't want to grab that for sure. Yeah, that wrench is something new, huh? Can I twist it? I wonder. No, it's just floating. Oh, can I pick up the wrench? Oh, it's got to go to the barge. Okay. 
B4K, wow, going big, man. Damn. Oh, it needs a key to unlock that. Interesting. <laughs> that sounds ominous. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, let's swap our oxygen here. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay. So that that's kind of interesting. That's new. That key thing, right? Gouda, have you seen that? Wait, what? Oh, I can just okay. I can just salvage that. All right. Well. Um, Okay, it is standard. I hadn't seen that yet. I guess I haven't done a medium ship quite yet. So I think we're good now to start taking it apart. I'm glad I looked into that um, that uh, fuel pressure thing. That would have been a nice, a nasty surprise there. Let's go ahead and take. Uh, we'll take this stupid thing off here. I think now I can actually get to the thrusters, which is what I needed to do. Um, I did see the danger signs in the scanner. I didn't realize it was connected to that fuel release thing, though. So that's something good to know. All right. That's going the right way. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I don't know if the kid, the the guys that make this game are Canadian, but she says processed or British. I don't know, or, or I don't know what dialect that might be, but uh, I've heard that in Canada. Process. Um. Okay. How do we? Can we get to our? What is holding this on here? What's what is this? I can't pull it off. What what is? It says that it has to go to the barge. So it must be part of the thruster. Do I cut from? Maybe I cut from inside. Let's try to figure this out. I am gonna need oxygen. So let's do one more pass inside the ship. See if we can find an oxygen tank. They're sometimes on the walls. What is this? Oh, fuel shut off. I think we want to do that. So that's, yeah, definitely want to do that. So I don't see any oxygen tanks. I got to hightail it back to the, uh, the hub so I can get oxygen here because otherwise... About to uh, end up a space popsicle out here. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. So, how many tethers do I have? Ten. I can't remember what the what the max is, but I don't need to buy any quite yet. I don't think. Yeah, Vancouver. There you go. That's pretty cool, actually. I have beer from Vancouver. I, if I had done my research, I could have, I could have known. I do have some pretty fun beers picked out, though. But rather than Jupiter's Gold, I could have done a beer from Vancouver. I have several in my cellar. That's that's my bad. Uh, okay. I thought I miscut there, like for a second. I was like, oh, should I just fuck this up? Where's this piece going to the barge? All right. Five minutes? We can do a lot in five minutes. Come on. Give me some credit. We can uh, shoot things the wrong way in five minutes, too. No problem. Okay. Oh, that was our, apparently a, one of our work order items, so that's we've got that dealt with. Okay. Um, I'm thinking... Where can we cut to kind of get some of the flooring off so that I can get to work on getting some of these fuel tanks and shit out of here without making them explode. 
Shit, there's a lot of a lot of stuff to cut in this ship. Um, this is kind of involved. Can I shut this thing off? No. Okay. All right. Actually, um, let's see. We'll take this actually out of here. We'll just start clearing some of the loose things to make our lives a little easier. Oh, Homeworld, like the original Homeworld game? Because I know there was a remake. I didn't play it, but... Um... Oh. What the hell is this thing? That makes a lot of sense that they made Homeworld, actually. Given the space... Where the fuck are you going? Is this thing too heavy? Is that... You know what? Alright. Let's get a tether. Down you go. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, that'll be alright. We'll, we'll buff it out. I think this piece probably needs to go... Oh, that was a forklift. I would not have guessed that's what that thing was. Okay. Two and a half minutes. What can we do? I'll tell you what we can do. We can get some of this loose shit like this thing. The coolant tank. Let's get that out of there. There you go. Homeworld 3. I didn't know that was coming. Yeah, that's that's cool. I You know, Homeworld, I, I did play it when it came out. It wasn't my favorite game, but uh, it was interesting. Um kind of real-time strategy kind of game. People really love that game. I remember it was quite a big deal for its time. There we go. So. Yeah, it was really hard. Maybe that's why I didn't like it, too. We were too young, probably, for that game for its time. We didn't have the patience. We want to play some Warcraft 2 or something. All right, let's just start cutting. Yeah, around here. Okay. I thought for a second there maybe I cut the floor panel, but there we go. Hmm. It, there we go. I guess I was too close. I don't think I've really noticed that before. Got to have it light up because if you don't, like I said, it'll cut. It'll cut like around the the target, you can end up doing like some pretty bad damage to the ship if you're not careful. Had to learn that the hard way. There we go. So yeah, one of the upgrades is to increase the range on the cutter too, which would be nice. I don't have to get as close for it to target it. So maybe... Okay, so that floor panel is coming off already. So that's cool. That'll be helpful for us to kind of get through here. Off you go. And then this piece to the processor. All right, cool. Yeah, so with your grapple, you could... Oh, shit, I am out of time. I was not paying attention. I don't think I can get this piece in there in time. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that sucks. I wonder if that's going to be floating out there when I when I come back uh, <laughs> for the next salvage job here. Let me kill this, guys. This is our first beer down. Again, it was uh, Jupiter Gold Freehouse. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, I had to turn autofocus off on the camera. But uh, anyway, South Carolina Sour. So cheers. Let's see what uh, our money situation looks like. See, airlock console was destroyed. I don't know what happened there. I don't remember destroying that, but whatever. You win some, you lose some, I guess. Uh, so I have 132 Lynx bucks. 
Now, um, I don't think... Let's take a look. Let's look at our suit here. I can't even upgrade the integrity of the suit. That needs 150. And then the audio resynth, resynth thing. This uh, It's interesting because, yeah, if you guys haven't noticed already, the sound in the game is really muffled, and I guess you can buy an upgrade that makes it more um, audible. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, so you're... Okay, so I can buy an upgrade for the suit that... Uh, for my helmet that actually refills the oxygen while I'm inside of an airlock that's pressurized. Um, that's kind of cool. I didn't even really know about that upgrade. I guess I didn't see this before. But that's 350 and I've only got 132, so that's quite a ways off. For our scanner, um, let's go back to the scanner here. I've already got the upgrade that increases the range. I could, well, for 450. I guess you get more information from the scanner, uh, but that's obviously out of our price range. I basically still can't afford any upgrades, it looks like. I think 200 is the next level. Nope, 175, 150. So I can I can, I can deal with the cooldown a little bit more. So uh, I'm not going to repair my scanner quite yet. Malfunct? Yeah. Well, I'm already paying crazy interest. I don't know if another loan is the, is the right answer. So let's go ahead and keep working on this ship. Oh, it is almost time for another beer. You know what? Let me, um, I'm going to pause right here. Because uh, it is time for the next beer. So uh, if you guys are drinking with me, go ahead and get your uh, beverages refreshed. Uh, I just have to take a quick little jaunt out into the uh, garage to get my next one. Uh, so I will be back, and there's uh, not going to be much of a delay, so uh, I'll go get the next beer, and I'll kind of talk through that. So uh, hang out for a second. Go ahead and go get yourself your next beer, though, so I'll be right back. Cheers. Um, thank you all for joining. I hope you had fun. Um, my goal is to entertain you all, so cheers. Cheers.